guys welcome back to my channel Julie here with another Sims 4 speed build as per usual as we establish at the beginning of every single video but I like doing them so I'm gonna continue doing them now this build in light of everything that's uh, going on out in the world at the moment this is a um, I guess like a, a bunker I don't remember what I called it exactly I think right now it's still the original name of the lot um, I don't remember what I called it. I think it is a bunker or survivalist bunker or something along those lines. Um, so this build was inspired by, as I said, what's going on around us now. Not that we're all, you know, having to escape and run and live in bunkers, but we are all stuck inside for the most part. Um, the people or the sims whatever that this build was meant for it's a mom and daughter uh duo i guess you want to call them dynamic duo um the mom has always been some sort of uh, explorer and artifact collector whether it's for a contract for a museum and something that needs to be found or whatever kind of like a female nathan drake just less you know violenty and gun -y. <laughs> um and she has a daughter who has always since she was basically old enough i guess has always um been out and traveling with her and going on all these crazy adventures with her mom and uh, now she's quite a bit older a young adult and has decided she would like to do her own thing and uh, we used the story mode thing at the beginning to create these characters. And so we skipped some questions and stuff to get to the root of what we wanted these characters to be. And I say we because my daughter and I created these Sims together. Um, and uh, so anyway, so we picked the proper questions, skipped some to, to get to the root of the type of sim that we wanted this to be and uh, by the end of it she is adventurous and stuff along those lines but is um uh, the career that the story gave her was a detective which i thought was kind of cool so the mom is still just an outdoorsy adventurer the thing that came up for her with doing the story was um i forget what the aspiration is called but it's the the one with basically being a collector or artifacts finding or something along those lines i don't remember this is new for me because i just got the jungle adventure pack so i really don't remember the different things that came with it when it comes to aspirations or the different jobs so we figured okay they live in this bunker not that they have to live underground but this is just the mom's way of living it's simple it's uh she, if in case anything happens she's prepared and the daughter who's a young adult now who has maybe just made detective at work or whatnot is slowly starting to ease her way out of everything I guess you could say um, so the bunker itself I figured uh, it would be kind of disguised as uh, a shed so Maybe it's an old shed that's been run down. So in case of an apocalypse, maybe this would just be passed over and looked over because it is just a, well, I guess a giant shed. It's really big, but it's, um, you know, it looks old, looks decrepit. So that's kind of the point of it up there at the top. Um, and then obviously there's a staircase inside that leads below. Now I, I'm not any type of expert in any way on bunkers or surviving anything um so i just went with what i think now as far as i'm concerned i'm like oh this place still has electricity so there are actual lights um outside there's just solar lights but inside i did put i think they came from strangerville you'll see them as i place them but it's the ones that look like they were like handmade so it's like a bulb and there's a big wire hanging from it so i put a bunch of those around and then I was like, oh, this is looking like a lot too much. And so I started putting different lights around, but still nothing fancy, I guess. Um, so anyhow, so the, the bunker on the outside here, you can see that we just built a whole garden area. So it's self-sustaining, hopefully. And there's a little creek. Maybe that's where they get water siphoned through into the house. I have no clue. I don't know how that kind of stuff works. But this is the hidden staircase. So this leads down to the actual two-level bunker. 
um because you know a, a bookshelf obviously in in a in a shed is completely inconspicuous who would think to, to look there so um on the inside of the bunker um or like the shed area i guess uh, it's just a lot of, I cut most of it out, to be honest, because it's just a lot of um, just clutter, I guess, random clutter. Most of it makes no sense. Like maybe there's a wooden duck. I don't know. <laughs> You'll have to download it and see all the different things. Um, but I did put a workbench in there as well as the flower arranging table, just because it looks like something that would be in a shed and like an old what is it not is it a punching bag it's not a punching bag it's more like a punching stand um and then like random things that I thought oh that could look like something that does something helpful for a bunker <laughs> like the thing on the wall the white thing with the lights on it I don't know what it is don't remember what it was but I thought maybe that that's maybe that's the generator or something I have no clue I know nothing of these things so the shed, uh, I think I've skipped ahead a little bit. Oh, I put an ATM machine in there. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> um, and then there's like a bucket for washing clothes, a couple of shelves with some random items on it. Um, on the outside, I put kind of pipes along the place with big barrels that I thought maybe that's where they collect rainwater for whatever you need water for. Um it's yeah this is just just kind of a, a mismatch of of just clutter and and stuff like I was just going through the menu I don't even know if I brought up the debug menu to be honest but uh, I was just kind of placing down anything and everything that I could find um, so this second level or the first level I guess down um, is where all the supplies are kept uh, so I just put a bunch of these shelves in. Unfortunately, I, I wish when you picked a different color for an, an item, especially like a bookshelf or something along those lines, I wish that like the items on the shelves changed as well. Uh, these ones, I don't even think the color of the items changed. It was literally just the color of the shelves. So when you put multiples of one items, just different color, they still all look alike, which is kind of annoying, but eh, we work with what we have. Um, so to me, those shelves looked like they were full of totes and containers of food and stuff like that. So I thought, well, that makes sense. Um, and then also a couple of bookshelves off to the side that just house, well, books, I guess. <laughs> uh, one of them is even being held up by like cement blocks. So I thought that was appropriate. Um, again, I really, I didn't do any research and I didn't, I don't know. I have no clue what you would need or want. I mean, obviously the basics and supplies and things, but um, I'm sure a lot of the stuff that's going on in here just doesn't even make any sense. But, um, you know, if, if you're if you're stuck inside and you can't go anywhere, you're going to need some books. So some bookshelves make sense to me. Now, this bottom area, this is the last floor. It does, I do make it bigger. Um, this bottom area houses the two bedrooms, a bathroom, kitchen slash dining area, um, a workout area, and a place that looks, is supposed to give you the illusion that you're outside and uh, an office as well. So I thought if, I mean, even right now there is the whole outside area because they're not, you know, forced to stay indoors yet. But if ever it were to happen, the mom is prepared. She has everything she needs down here as well as like a makeshift outdoor area. So the mom's bedroom is the one I'm working on here. Like I, I was going very plain, very... Uh, the, she has nothing. She doesn't want anything. She doesn't need anything. Literally on the wall, it's like maps of trails and stuff maybe that she's been. She's got a guitar because maybe she likes to play a little bit. Um, you know, one measly little shelf with like a few, you know, face products and a couple of books on it. And that's about it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, in the mom's room too, I put like a window. So it gives the illusion again of maybe looking outside or something. Uh, this room is the daughter's room. And uh, sorry, I just took a little sip of water there. I just got a tickle in my throat. I'm not sick. I just have a tickle in my throat. So the daughter's room I made in the sense of like, like I said, she's trying to, to do her own thing. And uh, she has a different career path than what, you know, her mom does. So she's accumulated her own things, obviously, over time. <coughs> 
oh my gosh. Um, and because she has like a regular person job, she also needs a, a proper you know wardrobe compared to the mom who just wears like cargo pants and t-shirts all the time. The daughter actually goes out into the world, <laughs> not just traveling and exploring jungles and abandoned things. So, um, so yeah, so she's got like a, a kind of a regular bedroom going on. I mean, it's tiny and it's got no windows and it's in a bunker, but it's as close to a regular bedroom as you can get down there. Um, what else do I put in there? I'm not sure. <coughs> oh my God. Uh, so she's got obviously, uh, more, you know, supplies and beauty products and shoes and clothes hanging up and those little wooden hearts on the wall I thought oh like maybe she made those upstairs at the you know little wood working table um and doesn't travel as much these days so her suitcases are literally just used to hold clutter now <laughs> um for the outside here I'm just putting kind of like dirt looking tiles and stuff just to make everything blend in a little bit better when you're changing you know floors and stuff and you can see the other things um so here i'm just extending the area to make room for that office that i was talking about or did i mention the office i don't remember and the um little outdoorsy looking place like i guess i was thinking it would kind of like come off as like a lanai um so in the kitchen i thought these counters i i don't know why i used them i just did i thought they looked nice um and they look a little kind of industrial slash rustic, so it kind of goes with the look. Um, and then I, 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 I put a stove in, and I put the vent and everything above the stove. I don't know if this would actually be something that you would have in a bunker. I have no clue. I don't know about what kind of ventilation system you would need in order to actually be able to use a stove. But... I thought if this is a build that's going to be used and it's not an off-the-grid lot, then you kind of need a stove to survive and cook and make food. Um, so at this point, I'm just going through and bringing out some extra clutter pieces just to pop around. Um, I don't remember if I skipped through most of this or if I just kind of let it go. Um... I had just gotten the, I think the dine out pack just before I started making this build as well as the jungle adventure pack, I think, because they went on sale. So I bought them. Um, so there's a few little items that I come across that I use that uh, I don't normally use because I didn't have them before. Uh, the kitchen is very, very plain. It's just your basic needs. You know, we're not cooking grand meals or anything in here. And uh, it's... I don't know, it's weird, it's so dark looking because there's no windows or anything and I didn't know how to go about giving the illusion of windows. I know some people I think have put like blinds up or something just to make it look like there's windows there, but I would rather just put up shelves and put more clutter. So this area here, I thought a bunch of windows off of the, you know, kind of workout area so it looks like you're inside looking outside. I put outdoor furniture there, you put the fake grass down. Uh, some planters, because even though they have their whole garden and everything set up upstairs, if ever it did happen that they were uh, forced to stay inside, well, then they have an area where they can start growing stuff, which at this point they already have. Uh, I know it's a lot of just flower looking stuff, but I'm like, well, they can just pull that stuff up and pop some seeds in there if they need to actually grow food. But I thought to give it the illusion of being outside, I, you know, you don't want just potatoes growing and stuff. It, you want it to look nice, look cozy, look inviting. So I just filled it with plants and, um, and some really pretty flowers and then some fake tree decals, I guess, on the wall. Uh, I think I go back after and put like the f cloud decals and stuff. I, I don't know, I was just trying to, as much as possible to make it look like the outdoors were indoors. Um, and then the last room to work on is the office. Um, and then after that, I'm pretty much, build is basically done. I don't think I pop back outside for anything else, but I'm changing some of the lighting around because I realized it was way too many of those makeshift lights that all look identical. And I'm like, if I've already made it so that it's a seemingly like there's, you know, electricity in here why does it matter what lights I put in 
So this office here, I'm assuming it's more of like the mom's space where she does all of her research and everything for her next, I don't know, job. Like I, I assume she gets like contracts from private collectors or museums and things like that. And like, I want this artifact found. This is the information we have. The rest is up to you. And, you know, she travels the globe and finds the items. So, um... I think that's pretty much it other than putting I think I put like a shelf in here and a little bit more clutter uh, I go through a lot of the strangerville stuff came in handy like the stacks of paper and these types of desks and everything because it even though they're two different kind of storylines they still you know the items would still uh, still work the same for either one um, but yeah I've been we've all been just inside i thought i'd get a lot more of these out by now um but we're, the house is so full of people and nobody can go anywhere so it is a little difficult to get things done i have a lot of builds ready to go for you guys i just have to finish the voiceovers and a little bit of editing um and i have a bunch of videos out hopefully so uh yeah the screenshots are coming up so i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to use it the information for my gallery is uh, below you can go and download it put it in your game other than that thank you so much for watching and like and share and all that good stuff i tell you to do all the time <laughs>